Hey everybody, this is Laura Lehman from Digital Hue 110. And if you're like me, one of the things that makes it incredibly difficult right now in order to concentrate is first, puppies. Second, that it feels like there's always something leading me in the wrong direction. Now, one of my very favorite videos in all the world is of monkeys riding on the back of goats. And one of the things that makes it so funny is the goats are going about doing their business and suddenly there's a monkey on their back leading them every which way. Well, that's all well and good if you're a person looking at the goats, but what if you are the goat and there's a monkey on your back and as soon as you try and work on one thing, the monkey starts chattering about something and leads you in a completely different direction. Or a little pluck, depending on what your problem is. What I want to talk about today is a way to get that monkey brain, that chattering part of our heads that keeps us only accessing the parts of our brain that are the reptile portion of our brain, the parts that we don't need for doing work, but actually allows us to silence that and focus on what we want to do. And the way that I do that is through an exercise that I learned from my bassoon professor many, many years ago when I was an undergrad. People who've had me in classes know that I was a bassoon player and that I was in a woodwind quintet. And as the bass line, if I panicked, the entire quintet would be forced to speed up and speed up and speed up until things were just completely useless. So my bassoon teacher taught me an exercise to help calm me down. And I'm gonna pass that along to you. In this exercise, which you can do anywhere, you want to practice breathing from your diaphragm. So put your hand on your stomach, and if you breathe in through there, you should feel that part expanding as opposed to breathing from here, which is kind of our panic breath. So you want to place your hand on your stomach, and I'm going to count to five as you slowly breathe in through your nose. Then you'll hold it for five, and then breathe out slowly through your mouth for five more counts. Then breathe normally, and then I'll repeat this three times. So go ahead and sometimes I think it helps to lie down on the floor so you can actually feel whether you're breathing from the right place. So take a second, pause this, lie down on the floor, and put your hand on your stomach and make sure that when you breathe in, you're breathing in through there, which will allow you to be able to breathe much more deeply and much more satisfyingly. So now, after you breathe normally, go ahead and breathe in through your nose, counting for one, two, three, four, five, and then hold it for one, two, three, four, five. And now breathe out through your mouth for one, two, three, four, five. And now just breathe normally. And now we'll do it again. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four, five. And hold it for one, two, three, four, five. And now breathe out through your mouth for one, two, three, four, five. Now breathe normally. And one last time. We're going to breathe in for one, two, three, four, five, and then hold it for one, two, three, four, five, and then breathe out from your mouth. One, two, three, four, five. I hope that was helpful and that you feel a little bit more at peace. I find it useful to do this before I do any activity that involves accessing my higher brain function. So writing or reading or even just starting a class. Sometimes it helps to do this so that I can leave behind the monkey part of my brain, which is trying to drag me off in all sorts of unusable directions. And I can actually guide my thoughts much more productively. See you soon. Bye.